it's like every time I hit the record button, some Minecraft sound happens. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Oh, yeah, guys, so I got uh, something new for the game. I got a new camera. It's got a zoom in feature. So there we go. You like my new camera? Yep, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, in, out, in, extreme close up. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so what's up guys how is it going how's it going um yeah you know one thing that i want to do around here at the spawn area is my animals keep dying they keep suffocating in the blocks when i load the world um yeah i want to fix that so i had a suggestion in the comments by the way guys thank you for all your comments and your likes on these videos that is awesome that you guys are supporting me uh, but yeah, I had a suggestion in the comments that we should change up these blocks here. <laughs> That's so sad. That we should change out these blocks here for stairs. Uh, we could turn them around and make them upside down stairs or whatever. Man, I didn't even log out and log back in. That pig just like killed the other one. Uh, but yeah, we can make these things stairs like facing the wrong way. And yeah, we should be able to get these animals to not suffocate in the block. So I think we're going to do that today. Uh, well, at least we're going to do that right here at the start anyway. Okay, so how are we doing over here on wood? We got 20 of these. Let's go ahead and turn those into planks. Planks into stairs. Uh, let's go ahead and turn the rest of these. Okay, 52. That might be enough. I don't know. My goodness. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting an animal to die right like that on camera. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, uh, the one thing is though, these animals here, the pigs, these guys are one block tall. So if I remove the bottom block, they can just kind of slip out and escape. So we're going to try and keep them confined in there. We don't want to have a way for them to get out of the pens. Although I'm sure I could just use carrots or something to get them back. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and open up like a little too high area all the way around here. Just like this. And where are we at? Okay, there we are. And then the final stretch right here. Awesome. Okay, yeah, so we'll go ahead and open this all the way up around. And then we should be able to use our axe and break out these blocks and change these out from solid blocks into stairs. Okay, I know the pigs are probably going to be escaping. Yep, we already got some escaping. Yep, <laughs> yep, there they go. They're all outside. I'm going to have to lure them back in, so that's going to be fun. It's like the animals, as soon as they see an opening or a new hole in the world or something, like, oh, we gotta go. We gotta be free. Freedom. <laughs> oh, another pig must have died over there, too. I just saw some more bacon on the ground. Okay, we'll do this and this. That, that. Hold shift, please. This one, that one. Okay, so I think we're just gonna go ahead and do this all the way around. Uh, I should get extra planks from the current walls that we're using. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna have to try and find a way to get these animals back in their pens. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, they can't escape out of the one block high areas. Hmm. Okay, well, let me go ahead and finish up this stuff here. It's gonna be a little bit of fun trying to get these guys back in their pens. And we'll be right back. Alright guys, so I got... <laughs> Whoa. Man, that thing's got a crazy amount of leaves. I got all the pens changed out. Yeah, still grass is growing back. Yeah, so all these blocks are now stair blocks. They're just kind of reverse looking. Um, what I want to do today, though, uh, first thing is I want to go back to the Mesa, and there's some changes to the saloon that I want to make. You guys have given me some good suggestions in the comments. Um, yeah, I, I agree. We used a little bit too much acacia wood there, and I think I have a better idea of what I want to do. Also, I'd like to start working on the interior of the saloon so it's not just like a big empty thing. Uh, so yeah, we will go ahead and do that as well. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm thinking we're going to use a bit of spruce and a little bit of oak mixed in with the acacia wood. That way it's not all as orange as it currently is. I think it'll look much better. How much taller is this tree? Goodness. Is that it? <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing chopped down. And that's also one thing I do like about these spruce trees is you can grow them super tall and you get a lot of wood, similar to like the jungle trees, you get a lot of wood for uh, a few pieces of bone meal and it makes it easier than having to like climb up multiple different trees for the wood. You can just do it the one time and get four times the amount that you'd normally get from growing the single thereabouts. Uh, but yeah, it looks like the sun's going down. I got a bit more of this wood to collect. 
I think I need to get some more oak. I do have a stack plus some planks and some stairs. I don't know. Maybe we got enough oak. I just want to make sure we're prepared so we don't have to make that trip multiple times. But yeah, guys. Uh, let me go ahead and get a few more things together here and I'll meet you over in the Mesa biome. Alright guys, so we're back here in the Mesa. That's a saloon over there even though you can't see the sign. Unfortunately, those banners are like entities and they only render so far away. Kind of like chests. Uh, but yeah, that's a saloon right over here. So we're over here in this little mine area. And there's actually a good reason I wanted to come down here. I just want to find a bit of iron. Are you kidding? Is that really another monster spawner? <laughs> it's a skeleton spawner too. What the heck? Ah, yeah, I really didn't know this thing was here. I just wanted to come down here and get a bit of iron. There's actually some iron there. Oops, and only one piece of iron. Um, I think, that's cool, there's a golden apple here. I think I'm gonna leave this alone for now. Yeah, I honestly, guys, had no idea this was here. That is crazy. Um, I was coming in here just to get a bit of iron because I want to collect some of those dead bushes that are around, but now, I'm not even sure. Yeah, there's like nowhere else. Ah, oh, geez, I was hoping there's gonna be some exposed iron here. Oh, and the sun is going down. Let's go ahead and sleep. Brought a bed with me. I know there's already a bed here, but I just brought one with me because we had like about a billion beds from our fatal uh, Enderman, or not Enderman, our Ender Dragon fight. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that that would actually go down a little bit further than it did. Um, there might be another cave around here somewhere. Yeah, I just want to get myself a bit of iron to smelt up so I can make some shears and collect some of these dead bushes. Is that another cave right there? That might be. Hopefully this one will be a little bit better and not have a monster spawner only in it. Um, oh, I hear zombies and stuff. Okay, so there's a zombie down there. Not sure if I want to, like, drop down a huge thing like that. Okay, here we go. There's going to be iron in the walls here, right? Ah. Bunch of iron right here. Perfect. Okay, <laughs> so now we got that. I can go ahead and make my shears. Uh, I guess I could have ran all the way back to our spawn area, but I really don't want to do that just for a couple pieces of iron. Um, yeah, so we are going to make a few changes to the saloon over here. If I can find my way back out, I think it should be, yes, right here. Yeah, we're gonna make a few changes. So one of the changes I wanna do is I wanna swap out some of the acacia wood for a bit of spruce and a bit of oak. We're gonna mix in two more colors, hopefully make it look a little bit less plain and bland where everything kind of blends in. Um, yeah, I think the very first thing we wanna do, let's make ourselves a furnace. We'll get some iron smelting. And I think we're just going to do eight pieces. That should be fine. Okay, so these slabs down here, all of these slabs, I'm going to change these out for spruce. Um, I would try a couple different designs in creative mode, just trying to see what I like the best. And honestly, the dark oak is just too dark. I didn't really like it. Um, it, I thought it was going to be nice with that dark color, but yeah, I just really think it was too dark. So I think we're just going to go ahead and go with uh, spruce for the floor, these half slabs around here. Uh, for the fences, I think we're going to do oak. And then for the awning up above, I think we're also going to do spruce as well. Uh, yeah, we just got a few more color choices to, to mess with here. So spruce wood, let's do like a stack. We'll do that. Uh, it's almost two stacks worth of these planks. That should be perfect. Let's go ahead and fill all this in. And I knew I was going to misplace one. That always happens with these slabs. Like, I try and place them down so quickly, and I always misplace them, and then that's annoying because you got to go back and break them. So, guys, I'm curious. When you guys play Minecraft, I I'm genuinely curious because I know everybody plays this game differently. Um... Why don't you leave me a comment down below and let me know what it is in Minecraft that you guys enjoy doing the most. Uh, whether that be like making farms or breeding animals or riding horses or, you know, making mob spawners or any of that stuff. I'm curious, like, what what you guys like doing in this game. 
personally, I, I like the more technical kind of stuff, like building mob farms and things like that. I've never been like really great at aesthetic building. I am getting better, and I'm trying to get better. I'm not the best by far, but <laughs> yeah, um, I've always found making you know mob farms and mob grinders and things like that to be more to my personal enjoyment. But I am curious what everybody else likes to do in this game. Because I know there's a whole bunch of stuff besides that to do. Okay, I think we're going to chop down these fences. Yep. Get rid of all these acacia fences. I don't know what we're going to end up doing with these things. We might just burn them or something. Oops, didn't mean to remove that steer. Um, I did bring some fences from the animal pens. We had some a bit of extra ones from when I was making these before. Okay, there. And we're like that. Yeah, I think that's looking better already. I think once we get rid of the um, the orange stairs, the acacia stairs, I think it'll look a bit better when those are swapped out for spruce. Okay, just a little bit more of the fencing and some of this and not there. Dang it. Okay, and I think we had one more here, right? All right, so our fences are in order. Well, almost. We got to remove these blocks here too. Oh, that's right. I made all these out of slabs, didn't I? Okay, and a little bit more of our oak. There we go. So that adds a bit more color to it. You can tell the difference between where the stairs and the porch are from the rest of the building. So yeah, this up here, I'm going to swap those all out for spruce stairs. So let me do that real quick. Ah, uh, that looks much better. Yeah, so I took the banners and I put them on the wall. So now they're hanging on the wall. They're no longer like sitting on these stairs. I do like the way that looks. So this is the way the front of the building looks now. Uh, I think it does look a little bit better. Oops, it looks like I have missed a stair or I misplaced one that I never got back. There we go. Problem solved. Yeah, let's take a look at that again. Yeah, I like the way that looks. I think that looks a little bit better now. It's not so orange anymore. Um, yeah, you know, it, it looks pretty good. Okay, so the next step, um, I still forgot to get glass for these windows. Ooh, actually, I had replaced, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I had replaced these blocks up here with some spruce, and I didn't know that those showed down below. I might have to change those back, but yeah, up here, I changed all those to be spruce, just so it kind of matched. If you're looking from up top... Like that awning goes back a bit more, but now that I'm seeing that those go all the way through, yeah, we're probably going to have to change it back to the acacia wood. Let's go ahead and grab a few acacia planks. I'm going to do that right now. Before I forget, I don't want it to be one of those things that just bothers me and I never get back up here and fix it. Okay, there. Problem should be now solved. So if we look from under here, yeah, no more problem. Okay, so... Uh, next thing I want to do is start working on the interior of this place. Now, I had used some of this dirt before. Uh, what is this stuff called? This is the coarse dirt. I think we're going to rip this all up. Um, I thought we were going to do this in here, but again, I've, I've tried a few more things off camera, like in a creative world, and I kind of want to match what we have going on outside. So I think we're just going to go ahead and use spruce for the interior inside. Um, yeah, I have a few more spruce logs or planks, I should say. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to put this all down as the flooring in here, and then we'll start worrying about the interior design and what we're going to do. Uh, since this is a saloon, obviously it has to have a bar in here, and then not only does it have to have a bar, but it has to have stuff to serve on that bar, <laughs> and we also have to have places for people to sit, things like that. Uh, so yep, let me go ahead and get this going, and we'll start working with invisible blocks. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, and we'll start working on the interior. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and I got the floor laid out here, and I went back to spawn, actually, uh, to go and get a few things. Uh, one of those things we needed was just some item frames so we can hang some stuff on the walls. I did collect some dead bushes. Uh, let's see, what else? I made some pressure plates. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff here. Okay, so I think what we want to do is we want to start laying out you know, some kind of a seating area in here because, yeah, we're going to have patrons in here that are going to be sitting down eating food. So I think we can probably just do something like that, have the little um, 
table or like this in the center or something like that. Now we don't want to have everything look exactly the same. Maybe we will come over here and do like, you know, a triple seater or something like that for a large party of people. Have some more things for the table and some more pressure plates. Yeah, you know, I think that's going to look pretty good. Okay, so that's a start that's definitely uh, not bad. So I'm also thinking uh, we can use these item frames that we have here. Kind of put these on the wall and we can fill those with dead bushes because what else do you hang on the wall when you're in this kind of an area? Uh, <laughs> yeah, pictures of the outside, right? Okay, so we got that going on. So yeah, that's not too bad for a start. I'm thinking we're probably going to want some seating over here along this side too. Maybe we'll do a little something different. We'll do like one chair with a table, not two. And then we can probably have a couple more tables right like this, full seating, okay, table, table, and pressure plate, pressure plate, perfect. Okay, so yeah, there we go. We got some seating for the patrons to come in here. Um, maybe I'll move that over a little bit more, I don't know. I kind of feel like I wanted the bar to be right here along with these two fixtures. I might move this over, I think it's going to be too cramped. Okay, so uh, next thing we want to do is actually get that bar put in place here. And I think we're going to use some of this spruce wood. Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll do spruce all the way down to right there. Uh, I'm going to want... Hmm, I don't have a crafting table in here. I think I'm going to want to get myself a trap door. Do I have a trap door in here? It does not look like it. Yeah, let's just make one real quick. Okay, we'll have one trap door for the uh, staff to get behind. Just one. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna move all of this over one. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so I got that all sorted out. We got, yeah, a little bit of a flow going on here. You enter in, you kind of walk over here towards the bar. Seems legit to me. Okay, so now that we have the bar in place, we actually need to have like a counter behind the bar where, you know, the bartender is going to have his stuff sitting on there. Uh, we're still going to have to get some stuff to do that with. And then I think we're probably going to want to push this back one more. Yeah, one more level. Uh, so we can have like a shelf over here for other things to be sat on. Let's go ahead and grab these blocks. Okay, and I think we're going to do that out of slabs. So we'll do something like this. Another shelf for things to be sat on. Perfect. Uh, we will have to go ahead and remove this layer of blocks as well. This will be turned into the acacia wood. Let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw a little bit of acacia back there. Kind of give this more of a finished look. And doot doot doot. Perfect. A couple more blocks here. All right. So yeah, these blocks behind here too will also have to be replaced. Yeah, there's a few little uh, detail blocks that we're going to have to do, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and get that and we'll place these guys back here. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, and you know what? This right here too. I was thinking, what are we going to do with that? If we should put that acacia or if we should turn that into the spruce, but I think spruce makes the most sense. I think I'm going to need a few more blocks. Let's grab 20 seems enough. Okay, let's go ahead and place these. Hopefully we don't misplace any of these things just because that's kind of annoying. Okay, perfect. All right, so that's all set. Now we're going to have to put something on those shelves. I don't. I didn't, forgot to bring stuff to do that, but that'll be fine. All right, so that's looking like there's something here. <laughs> I'm liking it. Okay, so next step, I think we're going to want to have a place at the bar for people to sit at. Where is my food? Can't find it. Yeah, I think we'll put a few more chairs over here at the bar. Let's grab some more of the spruce stairs. Guess we'll do... Oh, that should be fine. I don't want to get them too close over here. There wouldn't be room to, like, you know, fit through or whatever. So I think that should be good. So something else we can do. This is a trick I've seen people do before, especially Corellis on the Hermitcraft server. Uh, you can go ahead and put, like, these item frames on the sides of the chairs so it kind of looks like armrests. And then another cool thing you can do... If you take some stairs, you can kind of flip them around and put them in there. 
Yeah, so that looks like armrests a little bit more. It's kind of a neat little touch. I do like that. So we'll go ahead and put these guys in here as well. Aha. So I don't have enough item frames, unfortunately, to do all of the chairs around here, but we can go ahead and stick these on as many as possible. Uh, I just need to farm a few more cows over at spawn to get the rest of these. Whoops, I don't want that there. <laughs> item frame and an item frame. Item frame exception. Okay, we'll put one here, there. Dang it. <laughs> and one here. Okay, so we got two left. Yeah, we need to get the stairs and the rest of these. We want everything to match. I do like the way the item frames are now. The last time I used these things, I think there was only four positions you could click these things in. But now there's a total of eight, which is pretty cool. So you can put things at like a diagonal. Whoops. There we go. Okay. One there. And even though we probably won't be able to see it too well, we'll stick one right here anyway. Oh, I had that in the right spot. Didn't look like I did. Yeah, I think that's right. So all of these have the little stairs. No, I missed one. Put that guy right there. Perfect. Okay, so all those chairs should be fixed. Yeah, we still got a blink wall here. I think we're going to end up uh, putting some more item frames or whatever. Just maybe putting them around just for fun. We still have to put some stuff on the bar here. And I don't have any of the materials and things to do that. So I'm going to make a cut, grab some stuff, and I'll be back and show you guys what this looks like when it's all finished. See you in a bit, guys. All right, guys, so I think we got pretty much all the details taken care of now. I did get some black stained glass and put it in for the windows. I think I would have rather had brown stained glass for this, but unfortunately, we haven't found a jungle yet, so we don't have access to brown dye. Uh, we have plenty of squid around, so yeah, we went with the black stained glass. Okay, we have the shutters along the sides. I might put a shutter on this one, or I might just get rid of that window completely. I don't know, it just feels a little out of place. Anyway, let's go inside and take a look. So we got the bar set up over here. Uh, this is where the bartender can pour the drinks from. Uh, we have some cups here that apparently instant break when you left click them. I didn't know that. Okay, uh, got some more paintings on the wall, or I guess pictures. Just made a little design out of them. Uh, we have our brew stations up here. This is, you know, all the liquor or whatever that the bartender keeps behind the counter. Oh, looks like I missed one. Uh... There we go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, last item frame filled. Yeah, and I also put item frames behind these um, faucets or whatever, just to give it a little bit more detail there. We got a little bit of a blank spot right here in the center, but, you know, whatever. We can add another brew stand or maybe some more cups or something. I don't know, but, you know, I think this place is looking pretty good. I don't know how much more detail we need to put in here. This is supposed to be like an Old West-style saloon, and I think we've pretty much gotten that everything uh taken care of that we need to in here all right guys so next project that i want to work on is starting to build those blaze farms but unfortunately i don't think we're gonna have time to do that today but what we're gonna build those farms out of uh we need to smelt down some stone because we don't want to build everything out of cobblestone or nether rack or anything like that we need to smelt a bunch of blocks so in order to do that, we need something a little bit more than this furnace here because this thing is slow. It's just one thing. Yeah, if we could do like, I don't know, eight times faster, that's going to be a lot better. So I've built one of these things before on the Hermitcraft server. And yeah, I went ahead and I built one of those here today just because we need to smelt some blocks. Um, I went through a bunch of my uh, wood that I have here and a lot of my iron. In fact, we went through about... I'd say 15 or 20 blocks of iron. Yeah, we used a bunch of it making all these hoppers and things. But yeah, so what this thing does here, besides look crazy, this smelts eight items at a time. So we got eight furnaces, and whatever you put into the input chest up here gets evenly distributed to all these furnaces. So for instance, if I were to put in... Oh, I, well, actually, let's do something better. If I were to put in 16 pieces of stone... Each furnace will have two pieces of stone when this thing's all done. You can see back here, the redstone kind of pulses there for a second that lets items through. So each one of these furnaces should have two blocks in them. Right, so that's pretty cool. 
So let me show you how this thing works. I do like this because you can put in like eight stacks of items and they all smelt at the same exact time. Everything gets evenly distributed. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Or you can put in more than that, just depending uh, how much space you have in your chest up above. Um, so what we have here is eight furnaces and then underneath those furnaces we have hoppers all pointing over here. This is where the items end up going once everything's smelted. Um, on top of these furnaces, we have three layers of hoppers. The first two layers are all pointing straight down. Um, oops, fell down my mind. <laughs> the second layer here has redstone signal on it, so nothing can pass into these hoppers while the redstone signal is on. Anything that's in these hoppers down below freely goes into these. Now, the reason why we do this three blocks tall, or we have two sets of hoppers pointing straight down into the top of the furnace, is because if you put in a bunch of blocks up there, eventually the furnaces back up, this hopper backs up, and we got a bunch of items to smelt. So if we had like this redstone down one more level, so this layer was locked, all the blocks that were in here would not be able to be smelted. So we don't want that. We want to be able to have these extra five stacks worth of capacity for our smelting operation. Okay. Um, so let's see, can I jump up there maybe and show you guys the redstone pretty easily? All right, so this very first set of hoppers, these are our input. So we have the chest over there, we have one hopper underneath it and they are all pointing over here. And this guy is pointing down. This doesn't really matter if it's pointing down or not because the hoppers below it have the redstone signal so they can't accept items. So no items leave these hoppers. Uh, once an item enters this hopper right here, though, this comparator sees, hey, there's an item here, sends a redstone signal. This repeater here extends the redstone signal, so it's a lot stronger. Goes through that block. Uh, this redstone line over here lights up, which turns off all these redstone torches, and it lets the blocks drop down. Okay, so we can see that if I drop one block in here, redstone signal turns on. That block should have made it all the way down to that furnace. Do it again. And once more, yeah, so you can see everything happening there. All right, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so what that allows to happen is each tick, an item comes through. So the first hopper gets a block, then it sends the block to the next hopper and then takes another block. Then, yeah, so all of these hoppers basically fill up with items until this last one gets full. The pulse happens, all the blocks drop down into the furnace. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. So with something like this, I could take uh, if I had enough coal, let's see, let us unpackage all these coal blocks. Okay. So I can grab, man, my inventory is getting a little out of control right now. So if I break these all up into eights, I can go ahead and put, whoop, 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 whoop. we don't want to smelt that. Dang it. I <laughs> lost of coal. Yeah, we can go ahead and put in coal in each one of these. I'll probably eventually have these completely full of 64 coal, but for now, I think H is going to work. Okay, so all of those are full, and we fell down to the mine again. Uh, so what that should allow us to do is to grab eight stacks of blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put those all into our input chest up here. And we can see all the furnaces probably turn on at the same time. Yep, there we go. So everything is now smelting. So yeah, this is pretty cool. We got two blocks in there, two blocks over here. Yeah, I like this setup right here. So we're going to get eight total uh, smelted stacks of stone. They'll all end up over into this chest when it's all said and done. Yeah, so that's really cool. Hey, Enderman, how's it going? Come here. Come here. No, don't go over there. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Where's it going? Are you still mad at me? Oh, don't... Ah, oh, I could have taken him. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I tell you what, that's probably going to do for today. We need to get a bunch of blocks smelted so we can start working on the blaze spawners. And yeah, can't really do much else until we get that done. So we'll go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time.